The MSPCA has been around for well over a hundred years and we're a nonprofit, so we're an organization that relies on members of the public to support us by way of coming to our adoption center and adopting animals uh, and or providing us with the money that we need to continue our operations. When did the shelter open and what is the mission statement? Well, this shelter that we're in today opened in 1976 when our hospital and shelter moved over from another part, another location in Boston. Our mission statement is um, to protect animals, to relieve their suffering, to advance their health and welfare, and to prevent cruelty. And we're always working to create a more just and compassionate society. We have a lot of different kinds of animals here. Mostly we have cats and dogs, and then we have rabbits, and chinchillas, and hamsters, and mice, and ferrets, and birds, and sometimes we get snakes and lizards. We get pretty much everything you can think of. They have a long doors and animals usually set up for, for a desperate. Uh, animal stay up for adoption uh, really ranges. They could stay up for adoption anywhere from one minute to a year. Uh, it really depends on the animal and, and, and the, the time of year and who comes in. Dobby, as you can see, is one of our younger, very energetic puppies. He's about four months old. He's a pit bull mix and I can barely contain him. He's super friendly and loves to play. And he's been with us for several months. We hope we can find him a great home that will be including lots of exercise because as you can see he needs it. <laughs> We're hoping you can get him a home with maybe another dog who's really active or maybe someone who likes to run or a really active family so he can have plenty of outdoor time and because he's so young, less than a year, he's got many many years to get. So it's very important we find him a new home soon so that his cage, which will be empty and open, can be filled by another dog who's in need. Pit bulls are great. They're actually really amazing and very smart. And actually, um, it, it is sad that certain people view them in a certain way, but they're actually very smart and very loving, and they make really, really good pets, family companions. How many animals do you have up for adoption? Um, it varies. It depends upon the time of the year and how many animals come to us at any given time. So we can have anywhere from 50 animals to 150 animals available for adoption. And here at this shelter in, in Boston, we adopt out about 3,000 animals a year. Wow. That's a lot That's of animals lot. finding homes in a year. How do you mass people in reach for adoption? Well, we talk to people and we try and figure out what it is that they want in a pet and then we try and pick an animal that we think will be a good fit for them. So it's really about having a long conversation and making sure that we know what they want and that they know what the animal that they're getting is like. What are some of the other programs you have besides the um, adoption center? We have our advocacy department and that is a department that deals a lot with the state legislators um, in improving laws and regulations that pertain to animals. We also have our law enforcement department that responds to a lot of uh, calls where animals may be abused or being neglected. Um, the other programs we have in the Adoption Center are, we have a wonderful volunteer and foster care program, so these are people who come and help us do all of the work that has to be done in the shelter, and they also foster animals, and those are animals that are not quite ready for adoption. How many volunteers do you have every day? So we have hundreds of volunteers just at this Boston facility. I think there are about 600 volunteers in our network and we have a special person who manages the volunteer network and they come in and help us walk dogs and feed animals and clean cat cages. And they also help us when we do bake sales and other adoption promotions and we need more people to help out with that. Our volunteers are always here to, to help out with those activities. I started with my daughter. She's eight years old and she loves animals and she started by working the lemonade stand and to raise money for our emergency fund here at uh, the adoption center and we do lemonade stand, apple cider stand and now we're on hot chocolate. We also have a wonderful dog training program in our shelters and we have some great education programs. One is taking place in the next room actually, it's our little bookworm program and it's a, it's a program for toddlers to come in and start learning about 
responsible pet care. How long have you been working here? I've been working at the MSPCA for six and a half years as a veterinary technician. I help the veterinarians examine the animals, we do surgery on the animals, and we give medications for when the animals are sick. So whatever the veterinarians ask, mm -hmm. I do it for them. What kind of medication do you give them? We use antibiotics, we use pain medication, and sometimes we use special shampoos and conditioners to help with their skin and their hair. What's the common in in injury? Some injuries that we see here at the Adoption Center are um, animals that got out of someone's home and got hit by a car. We also have had animals um, come in that have gotten into fights with other animals. Those are some of the common injuries that we see. So after we shave her, we use um, a special soap that takes all the germs and bacteria away, and then we use alcohol, which makes it sterile. It's definitely important to spay an animal. At this adoption center, we take in over 7,000 animals a year. So if we're able to decrease the amount of animals that are being born, we can decrease the amount of animals that are coming to our adoption center that needs homes. It's also healthier for the animal as well. Not only does it decrease the population of unwanted animals, it's also healthier for the animals, um, and they tend to live a lot longer than animals that aren't spayed or neutered. I absolutely love my job, and I love working with the animals and the people that bring them to us. I love everything about my job. I guess my favorite part is seeing new animals go home uh, and having people who adopted them send us updates to let us know how well they're doing. We're always creating positive change for animals. Every day we're doing something to help animals and, and to work with people and try to create just a better world for animals and people.